<gasps> Me oh my! They've discovered the underground. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. A brain game. Indeed. So, you're gonna so. have a big ol' locker. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy a big gun safe for safe, the long yeah. guns and ammo and stuff. And I'll probably keep my conceal in there. And then I'll have, um, like I found, um, they have they make these like slider safes where you like you can mount it to a wall or to the side of a cabinet or something like that. And uh, you, you pop in the code and then it slides out, so you could like mount it even like on the underside of something. So Ooh. then it could be hidden. So yeah, there's there's different options, but then I would keep my primary pistol in there for bedside uh, nighttime rumblings or whatever. <laughs> nighttime rumblings. <laughs> get, getting hungry. Gotta slap my pistol on and <laughs> go to the to kitchen. to get up for a drink and you just blast her. Basically. <laughs> no movement to our bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a very nice joke. Uh, oh. she, she's fine with it. <laughs> I've said worse to her. <laughs> No! Where's the thing? This one. The thing? Use Do all the, the thing. things. Aha, this one. There's a pinky! I hear a pinky! Oh no, it's a specter. Hooray! Hey. I didn't deserve that one, I don't feel like, but. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty easy. <laughs> I got both of those. Okay. Oh no, I didn't Oh, I don't know if I... Did I beat the DLC last time we played? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, well, I, I beat the DLC. You told your story about not, not like, soft rage quitting, but... Yes, I did that quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was some bullshit. Uh, the last boss was a royal pain. But I did it. It was hard as shit. Ooh. I can't say I really enjoyed it. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I enjoyed it. It was good fun. It was just really hard. Was it like a, a mythical creature? What do you mean, a mythical creature? Like something you would have heard of before? Yes. From the lore or something? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Was it teased in this game? Yes. Ah. That's another uh, line that's memed. That is a weapon, not a teleporter. <laughs> like, pussy ass, Dr. Hayden. Don't want me to have any fun. He's always ruining our funny times. We have almost them all. Indeed. We would have them all if I didn't troll that one. Yep. <laughs> Blood drive? What the heck? Oh, she's just insane. Indeed. <laughs> You thought that the, the demons were just organizing a normal blood drive. We're going to give us the Red Cross, you know. <laughs> but we're bad guys, but we're not always this evil, you know. You know how it be. You never know. They might have... We're going to find a secret over here? I don't, probably not. It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> but it's not on the map, then it's not time to fab. I don't uh, know. Yes, clearly. Wow. You don't think the Slayer is UAC approved ammunition? <laughs> he is now. <laughs> We're firing ourselves out of a gun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are the, the carnival men. Is this a BFG? No. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Wah Hello. Hello there. Tis I. Oh. So I've also been playing Dusk, which is a Doom-esque game. Um, oh yeah, I think you mentioned that last time. I did tell you about it, but I know we didn't talk about it on the on the channel. So, mm. And it does fit because uh, Dusk is very Doom-like. And the guy who did the music for the DLC for this game did the music for Dusk. Oh yeah, I think you, you told me that last yeah. time too, yeah. But yeah, it's, so it's, it's good. It's quite beauteous. I like it. 
it's Ooh. some of the enemies kind of remind me of Half-Life and like you can pick up random objects and stuff like Half-Life but the gameplay itself it's very very much like Doom but you get uh, you start off with like uh, these sickles and that's that's your melee weapon um, and then you get a pistol and then you can get two pistols so you can dual wield and then you get a shotgun and then you get two shotguns that you can dual wield it's oh. like the lever action shotgun type of deals. Like the um, models? Yeah. From Call of Duty. Exactly. Um, and then you get a super shotgun, which is the most direct Doom reference, of course, the super shotgun. Uh, so it is like a it's like a love letter of sorts? Yeah, exactly. It's it very, very, very much inspired by Doom. Okay. A knowing um, reference. Yeah, exactly. The There's a, um, a hunting rifle, which is kind of like the uh gauss cannon or like the ballista type of a thing where it's a single shot uh but it does a ton of damage there is um a the bfg thing i don't know if it's quite a bfg but there is a it's a it's called the riveter it shoots rivets that are exp they do big explosives, but it's not quite like a rocket launcher. Sounds riveting. Does, does a lot of damage. <laughs> um, there's a mortar. There's there's no like plasma rifle stand in. But it's good fun. I like it. It's fun in a shan. Exactly. I missed a secret. Or did you? Take a back. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Oh. So how'd you hear about that game? Um. Ooh. I first heard about it from uh, there is a channel on YouTube that is a uh, Doom uh, beats to rip and tear to. Ah. And it's just Doom music on repeat and very similar to Doom music. Um, and so w one of the songs from Dusk was on there. I'm like, oh, this this music is badass. So then I saw it was by Andrew Holschultz, who I had already known from um, uh, IDKFA, which is the, the soundtrack mod for the original Doom that I enjoy, um, which he made. And so then I did some looking into him, and I'm like, oh, so he made the soundtrack to Dusk as well. That sounds cool, but then I didn't buy it. I just put it on my Steam wish list. Um, and then I found out that he was doing the music for Doom Eternal as well. I'm like, ooh, that's pretty sweet. Good for him. And then the game went on sale at the Halloween Steam sale. So me bought it and uh, <laughs> me play it. Ah. That's kind of just in as like a whole little story. Indeed. With your finding of it. Oh! <gasps> wow! Hmm. Have you heard of this uh, Ghost Runner game that Oni plays that is playing? I've seen reference to it, but I haven't actually like seen anything other than them playing it. Yeah, I saw an ad for it at some point, mm -hmm. so I did actually add it to my like Steam watch list or whatever. Yeah. Um, well, it does seem pretty cool. Yeah. Where am I going anyway? Well, you have to go back, go straight, and then back the way you were. Oh, this way? Yeah. Okay. I think. <laughs> I did so many things. Or am I? No, wait. No, go back down. Drop back down, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's the uh, way yes, we want. Yes. Right. I did one in this, like, so many weird circles, I forgot where I was actually supposed to go. Indeed. <laughs> oh, no, they're going to hurt me. Oh, no. Oh, hello. Just a boy just chilling. Ah. Oh, Ooh, no, I didn't no. do him. Yeah, I saw some ads, or I saw like a trailer for it, and I thought it looks pretty cool the yeah. graphics and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I was pretty intrigued to see them playing it then. Yeah. Ooh, just down here. 
Could it be <gasps> something fun? Whee! Exactly. Yeah. And I'm even more interest, intrigued to play it now as to after watching them play it mm -hmm. because it's it's got like very strong like Hotline Miami vibes like they were saying yeah like with the music and the one hit kill but mm -hmm. like pretty fast respawning it seems indeed. <laughs> 